Anderson against Enzo Amore. Oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. A superstar gets a certain feeling when he knows there's a strong possibility he may exit the match in a completely different condition than he entered. That's not exactly a comforting thought when it's your career. Well, neither one of these competitors has a lot of love for the other. And that's going to become clear right about now. And the party has officially begun. But here's the thing. You have to perform if you want to bask in that WWE glory. Carl Anderson would, in your opinion, should he do next? It's going to take a lot to beat him tonight, Michael. From what I've been told, he's been spending extra hours in the gym in anticipation of getting in the ring with this guy. You know, some people like rock concerts. Some people like football, others prefer basketball. Well, I got news for him. The WWE has all the spectacle of a rock concert and the action of football and the athleticism of basketball. Let's face it, we got it all. He's got the arm bar locked in. A kick to the gut. That'll double you over. Yeah, that's exactly what it did. Double him right over. Enzo Amore in trouble now. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. And at this point, it looks to me like this match is as even as it could get. Well, it's hard to argue that. But I'd say this one could go either way. King, if trash talking earned you wins in this business, Enzo Amore would be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Oh, without a doubt, Cole. This kid is personality plus and certainly isn't lacking in the confidence department either. the first time we've seen that move tonight from either locker room. I kind of love it. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Don't worry about this guy, Michael. It's going to take a lot more to keep him down. I think a lot of people would agree with that assessment, John. For his sake, I hope there's a lot more left in the tank. He didn't need a GPS to find the mark. Lack of confidence certainly isn't an issue for Enzo Amore, as King noted earlier, which is a bit surprising considering he's barely 200 pounds. There's times when he's in the ring with guys twice his size. He's in full-on attack mode now. Oh, and he got dropped. Oh, look at the emotion. Extra slow getting back to his base here. Careful what you wish for. It could get real ugly outside the ring. And these guys are real ugly. One. Two. That's a first. What a move. Definitely sets a tone for the Three. evening. I like it. It looks like we're going to see what kind of pain they can inflict out here on the floor. Oh, sure. Enzo Amore is oftentimes the smallest guy in the ring. But he's also, a lot of times, the craftiest. Sometimes a little smarts can make all the difference. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Six. Boy, there's no way he's going to be able to stand after that. Six. And it's imperative he gets back in the ring right now. Eight. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. He's making a statement here with this attack. He's doing everything he can to get his bearing. Quick pin! Hey, is this it? Uh, it may be. Not this! That's it! He's out! Man, this will this be enough? Hang on! Taking a bit of a beating so far, but nothing that can't be overcome. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. Look at this. RKO. He's really done a number on him thanks to moves like that. And this has got to be it. It's it. It's over. 
He did what he set out to do, and that was win. Here's your winner, The Club, Carl Anderson. That's an impressive victory, guys. Nothing worse than going home with the loser's end of the purse, which Enzo Amore is about to realize here tonight. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight.